What's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Pro Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. But before we get into the focus of this video, I just want to say real quick that the Broly movie was absolutely amazing. Oh my god, it was so, so good. It was one of the best anime films I've ever watched and I watch a lot of animated movies and it is by far, by far the best Dragon Ball movie of all time. Better than the Harutengar movie, better than the Bardock movie, better than the OG Broly by a lot, and even better than the OG Gogeta movie. And don't get me wrong, I love those movies to death. Like, I would still watch them today and be very happy about it, but this new movie just takes it to a whole other level, man. The voice acting, the story, the um, action scenes, everything was on point. Like. It's, it's perfect. Like, honestly, I, I can't find any flaws with it. I was laughing my ass off. The crowd was super into it. Um, I, I've never been more proud to be a Dragon Ball fan because of just, like, how enthusiastic everybody was in the theater. It was such a good experience. Huge shout out to everybody that was in my showing, by the way. And, of course, I watched it in IMAX because I want the best possible experience with the sound and the visuals, and it was just perfect. So, um, you know what? Enough rambling from me. It was awesome. Go watch it now if you can. If not, go to another country. Just fly out. Take that trip to another country to watch it in, a, in another country that has it in the theater because it's worth the trip, guys. But anyways, enough of me fanboying. I just need to get that off my chest. I was, I'm so excited about it. I'm still like, I still got that like hype energy from yesterday watching the movie right now, even, even the day after. But anyways, um, <laughs> getting back to the main topic of the movie now. Uh, we're talking about the four-year anniversary on JP. This is probably going to be my uh, first of several parts of news updates because the news is coming out so fast and there's so many things going on that I can't just keep making new videos for every single piece of news. So whenever there's like a you know good collection of little tidbits, then I'll make a video and give you guys an update. So I hope everyone's cool with that. But first things first, we got the V Jump leaks for this month, which does give us a few details about the upcoming events and characters for the four-year anniversary. So first things first, we have this top part of the V-Jump leak here with the Super Saiyan 4 Goku holding a four-star Dragon Ball, and he's actually going to be a login bonus. If you guys remember, last year, we got a Super Saiyan 3 Goku holding three fingers up for three year, obviously. So this time, we have the Super Saiyan 4 Goku free for everybody. Everybody's going to get him. I'm not 100% sure what he does exactly, but... Uh, he looks great. He honestly has probably the best Super Saiyan 4 Goku art in the game right now, which is funny considering he's free to play. But there he is. And uh, the other thing... Oh, he's also going to be physical. And the other thing uh, is that the B-Pan is going to awaken into an LR for the anniversary, which is pretty funny. And this art is actually straight out of Dragon Ball Legends. But you know what's cool? It's not like he's, they're stealing. It's because they share a lot of properties and a lot of art and stuff like that. Um, so there you go. This B-Pan is awakening. We don't know exactly what she's going to do, but she's going to be an LR. And I'm sure she's going to have better stats and uh, maybe even more tanky than before because she was mad tanky before. So I don't really know what they're going to do with her as far as the tanking and the healing goes. But that's good news because everybody can get her. And uh, also, this Goku Jr. By the way, the event just came back to global, so make sure. Make sure we get him done because who knows when he's going to be back. Actually, he's probably going to be back for the for your anniversary on Global, but either way, uh, just get him done now. So this Goku Jr. is actually going to get an Extreme Z Awakening. He's pretty solid right now, and actually he does help a lot of people when they first start out. He'll probably be one of the uh, hardest hitters for a lot of newer players who don't have like a lot of new Dokkan Fest units, but he will get an Extreme Z Awakening. We don't know exactly about the details of that either, but uh, I'm sure it's going to be good. I'm sure he's going to hit quite hard and uh, be quite monstrous. So. Keep these visuals in mind. We're actually going to go over to uh, Goresh's page now. Yeah, so this is uh, Goresh from the Dokkan subreddit as well as on Twitter too. And he actually gave us some more like in detail translations for what the V-Jump pages actually said. So here he says, the four year anniversary celebration will have the Go uh, Dragon Ball GT motif or basically it's themed around Dragon Ball GT, which a lot of people already know at this point because of the leaks that have been coming out. There will be a Super Saiyan 4 Goku available as a login bonus upon the first login of the campaign. So this, the Goku you saw with the 4-star Dragon Ball. His super attack will be 10 times Kamehameha, and he will be holding a 4-star Dragon Ball. Also included in the overall login bonus will be 4 Dragon Stones a day, which is solid. 4 Dragon Stones a day is nothing to scoff at. And various support items, of course. 7 God Dragon Stones. So, here's the interesting part. So, uh, <laughs> you know the God Dragon Stones are those red Dragon Stones that can exchange for... An extreme z awakenable unit right the thing is 
um, for past celebrations, even like really big ones, like the three year and everything, we got one God Dragonstone, maybe two at most. But apparently on the page it says that we're getting seven, and some people are like, I think you mean it's the seventh red Dragonstone, which it actually is. It is the seventh one we're getting. But at the same time, it does literally say we are getting seven. It's very clear. It's cut and dry. There's no like speculation. It says we're getting seven God Dragonstones, which could be the case. We, they could be just like super generous and I'm like, yo, you guys get to pick seven of these units. Or it could be a misprint, a mistake by the um, people who printed V-Jump, which has happened in the past. Like in the when they leaked the uh, Gogeta Blue previously, he was actually tech, he was a tech type on the uh, page for the V-Jump scan, but he actually ended up being AGL, of course, and we already knew that. So this seven God Dragonstone thing might be a mistake. It's most likely a mistake, but I mean, on the page it does say seven God Dragonstone, so we'll see what happens, we'll see what happens. And uh, also four-year anniversary coins, uh, which is going to be similar to the three-year anniversary coins, where they can be exchanged for like you know Grand Kai's and training items and stuff like that. Uh, the anniversary is set to start on January 30th. So yes, January 30th is the day that the anniversary uh, the anniversary officially begins. And uh, I mean, obviously not everything's going to come out at the same time, but that's when all the festivities start rolling out. So January 30th. Put that put a mark put an x on your calendar um because it's a big day it's a big day now that's gonna suck for me personally because i'm actually gonna be a pl on a plane back to china at that time so i won't be able to make any content for it which kind of sucks but if you guys are sticking around not going anywhere hope you enjoy and also uh goku jr will be receiving an easy a and also special stage with the b pan uh, event where medals will be obtainable to awaken her into an LR and she will also have the same SA as before Maiden Burst There will also be a new Giru event where you will recruit Giru and he will have his own potential orb So another free-to-play farmable free rainbow unit if you guys don't know what Giru is He's that little like robot thing that hangs out with Pan in GT. So there you go And uh, you know what? I'm sure he's gonna be fine. <laughs> I'm sure he's gonna be just fine It's gonna be a free rainbow, which is always good and moving on also have a vlog or not a vlog a blog from uh tokener theme will be mainly focused on dragon ball gt we also find the assets of black smoke shenron so that is the new shenron that's coming out and of course he's from gt as well uh in the anime it appears because too many witches accumulated negative energy the dragon balls are cracked so he's gonna bring in cracked dragon balls not really sure what that's gonna be all about uh, who give birth to the seven evil shenron dokkan being fairly faithful to anime we should find these vents in the game uh, surely in two large parts. Okay, so we're gonna get two Shenrons, two different Shenrons. One, the first part is gonna be the presence of the ultimate red Shenron. And he's gonna give us some wishes. And also the second part is gonna give us the crack Dragon Balls with the appearance of the black smoke Shenron that you see here. So we're gonna get him as the second part. The first part is gonna be the red Shenron, okay. And nobody really knows what the wishes are gonna be right now, but um, I'm sure they're gonna be good. They're probably gonna be better than the Purunga ones we got, which were already really, really good. So I'm excited to see what they actually end up being. And uh, new game mechanics. Oh, also there's gonna be new game mechanics, active skills. And uh, let's actually pop over to the, let me see if I'm missing anything here actually. Let me just read this real quick. However, it should be expected that these new mechanics will be found first on new maps. Do not expect to be to have an R nail who will benefit from these skills in terms of mechanics. Expect to have mechanical clo mechanics close to other gotchas. That is to say that we will be able to trigger a skill when the conditions are met. Okay, so everybody like I think most people already know there's gonna be new game mechanics. They're gonna make some changes to the core gameplay. But um, at the same time, I'm still not 100% sure how these things are gonna work. But I'll give you guys a little, show you guys a little clip here. So this is from the subreddit. Um, I believe it was posted by Thieving6. And it just shows like a few, I don't know, sprites, a few little animations of kind of how you would activate these skills. It looks like you would have to do some kind of swipes, some kind of tap, or um, just, you know, there's various things you do on your screen to activate these skills. You can see like a little like, yeah, it probably you're probably swiping there like up and down or like doing like a little loop thing. So there you go guys, that's courtesy of Thieving6. Here's a list of the skills that you can actually unlock with those gestures that we saw from before. And some of them are pretty damn broken. So we got True Potential on the top here, which increases your power level by 50%. Power level, I'm not sure if that means your attack or your Dokkan meter or something like that. Uh, key Release increases your key by 100%, so basically doubles whatever amount of key you have. Key Focus, get all the key on the board. So this is gonna be amazing. <laughs> For for nuke tests or just for nukers in general, 
double strike attack twice in a row, so basically a free um, additional attack, break attack, break your opponent's guard, charge up, double your next attack, so double your damage. So because this is attack twice in a row, so charge up, I'm assuming it's just dam damage, double your damage for one attack. Spirit Cannon cancels your opponent's attack turn. Telekinesis reduces your opponent's defense to zero. Counter, add damage received to the next attack. Um, so, I mean, I guess just like a counter, like Vegito Blue, or not Vegito Blue, uh, like Super Vegito, or um, like Rage Vegito or something like that, I'm assuming. So, maybe you can give a counter to a character that you normally wouldn't be able to counter. We have Yajirobe Strike, nullifies all effects, so maybe uh, any debuffs or anything like that. Uh, protect reduces damage received by 10%, which is not too good, but that's something. Absorb key super, oh, absorption. Absorb key super attacks and recovers HP. Oh, okay, so similar to uh, like physical Android 17 though kind of event where he absorbs all your, I don't know if he heals. No, similar to Super 17. Super 17 where he absorbs those key attacks and actually heals up from them. Uh, lower uh, power level by 50%. So I, I believe this would be debuffing your enemy's attack probably. Why would you debuff yourself? Yeah, probably debuffing your enemy, I'm guessing. A regeneration is recovers HP and surprise attack is extend attack turn by one. So, would that mean that you can actually attack with all your like your entire rotation all over again or something like that? Because that would be pretty pretty busted, pretty damn busted. Okay, so those are the skills that we have, and um, actually I believe I saw some um, tweets from Dokener or maybe Kawai or one of those leakers that said that this is actually a fairly old list of skills and there's probably going to be more skills added to this list as well when it actually drops in the game. So this is just a little preview of this new active skills mechanic. Nobody really, I mean, I, I personally at least don't 100% understand how it's going to work, but um, this is a little just like preview of what we can expect to come out. But that's pretty much all the information I believe we have at the moment. If you guys want to see this again real quick, you can take a look. But like I said, it's just little, it looks like just little gestures on the screen with your finger. Swiping left, right, making loops, things like that. And uh, we can activate the skills that you guys saw on the other page. But aside from that, I mean, Smoke Shenron, we got the V-Jump Leaks, the Goku Jr., the V-Pan LR. And uh, that's all I personally know for now. Hope you guys are excited for what's to come for JP. And if you're just global players and you don't play you know, JP at all, you only want to, you only exclusively play global, then this is still a preview of what you can expect sometime in late June early July for when the four year anniversary drops on global. But that's all the news I have for you guys today. Let me know in the comments down below what sounds the most interesting to you, what you're what you're most excited about. Personally, of course, man, like that active skills thing seems to be the most hype because that's actually like a big change to the game that we haven't seen pretty much since um, the game first came out. I mean, we've all, always been popping bubbles, right? But this is actually like a legit change to the game that could be permanent. And uh, well, pro probably gonna be permanent. It's probably gonna make a big difference as well as far as how the game plays. So um, it's, it's gonna be exciting. It's exciting times <laughs> to be a Dokkan player. And go watch the Broly movie, guys, if you can. It's awesome. That's all the news, all the information I have for today. Keep, um, keep, keep your eyes open for a future update for a part two, part three, part four whatever as more information comes out so that's all for today hope you guys enjoyed the video as always if you like the video make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel if you like what you see then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content but i'm out of here hope you guys have a fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out